I'm Fabian Klass, I'm from Germany. Um, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Potsdam. That's a city very close to Berlin, the capital of Germany. And in my research, um, I deal with the um, revolution in East Germany, 1989, the peaceful revolution, and try to investigate whether that was such a sudden event as it is mostly described in the literature, or whether there were signs before that uh, maybe the current literature missed. This year at the summer program I take time series one, the maximum likelihood estimation and the math three course in the first session. And in the second session I will take the second Bayesian course and time series two. The time series course, because um, I have time series data, um, hope will help me to understand the development of my data over time. And um, for, the, for the other courses, Bayesian and MLE, I think um, just the basic understanding um, of these ideas and concepts that are taught there um, are very important for the most work we do uh, in the social sciences with regressions, uh, something like that. Yeah. My name is Lee Thorpe Jr. I'm currently studying at West Virginia University. I'm getting my PhD in sociology. Um, and my research interests lie in sexuality studies, culture, and theory. So what I'm looking at for, um, for my dissertation involves looking at LGB, so lesbian, gay, bisexual coupling. So within LGB coupling, we know that they are less homophilous on certain status characteristics, such as age, race, education. So is it more is value homophily, so things like political affiliation, religious identity, are those more um, predictive of relationship and partner satisfaction? But we don't offer network analysis right now at WVU, so, and I think my dissertation could really benefit from it, so that's why I decided to come. The network analysis will definitely help me um, realize patterns amongst coupling. Also, within, within coupling settings, regardless of sexuality, we tend to know that people um, meet either via internet or friends these days. So I want to see if there's clustering effects as to how people meet each other and then if, if through friends, um, let's say I have a friend that introduces me to somebody that might not be the best suit for me, but then they wind up introducing them to other people and seeing how that kind of separates out and then seeing charts of how clustering effects happen within networks. My name is Yusan Chu. I am from Boston College School of Social Work. Uh, I'm a fourth year in my doctoral program. And my research is about civic engagement and social capital among low-income people, especially in developing countries. I really want to investigate how participation in, participation in civic society and activities will affect their well-being and life satisfaction. I took the introduction to R programming and I'm taking scaling and measurement analysis with Bill Jacoby. I'm still taking the measurement and scaling class. I chose this class because it is really helpful for my dissertation. And I found that from previous research that there is no clear measurement measuring their civic engagement. So I'm going to use his class to develop one of my uh, three paper which is about measurement of civic engagement.